one HP regen is surprisingly good against Nyx, who's going to be harassing the whole time. And he loses regen, and at the same time, he will be put in a situation where he won't have mana at all. Not even that special mana that you get from, from Mango. And, ooh, in the top lane, they're actually going to go for a kill on the bat rider. Sorry about that. But the bat rider will go down. But now Nyx himself has lost all his mana, still has a full bottle though. And harassing Miguel out of this lane. We want the bottom lane to go on to Raji. They get a Slithering Crush out, and they're gonna kill him off really quickly. That was an Invis rune on the Slardar, really lucky, but that Slithering Crush surprised the Void completely and will kill him off. Meanwhile, Elder Titan finding a Bat Rider in the jungle. Level 3? Level 3. But he's afraid that the Slardar will come in as well. This roaming off lane, this roaming support position for. Slardar. It's interesting. Meanwhile, hey, Juggernaut getting an Omni Slash on the Nyx, and we only saw the last bit of it, but he all he did was Omni Slash him. And Nyx went down like a pile of flames. So why would you wait for the Firefly? Weird, weird interaction. Alright, still gonna go on him though. The, the Weaver is committing this hard, so now, yeah, Nyx has to come in, Impale, and x rag is gonna die anyway, but... Still a, a misplay. Still, still a misplay. It's just we're getting better by Yamato there. Mm. Not good enough. They need astral imprisonment plus like an opener or something. Actually, Tiny's Eclipse could have killed them. Now with the impale onto Tihi, they don't have Vendetta, but they do have the Arcane Rune. And all oh, Static Storm missing completely. They have to glimpse it back. Where's the glimpse? Now it's finally available, but the Void is already dead, and Tihi will pay for that kill. However, that glimpse just being a second off. I don't know if it would have been successful enough. Freeze. Can only assume and zone out the Slardar. They've taken away a lot of armor at this point. It's pretty much like an amplified damage on him. And now the Blightstone as well, helping out. Fly solo in trouble, but the last one's come out. And Ice in trouble. Ice will go down to the power of the Juggernaut. There it is. The armor is actually committed to this. Meanwhile, the Slaughter is actually till, still alive. Yamate is fighting here. Mighty wants to go for the Courier. Decides to go for X-Rag instead. The Weaver finds the Courier. One last hit will do the trick. And now, with the Shukuchi, goes up to X-Rag. Will sacrifice himself, but time lapses back into the Chrono. But if he gets caught by a Brad Rider with a lasso, this is not going to be the case. They have a glimpse, and they're going to glimpse him back. Tries to get the lasso out or something. Doesn't manage to do so. The static storm comes out, but not in time. The Blade Fury, just the right Blade Fury. Static storm onto a Blade Fury is not the ideal situation. They do catch up a couple others. Ice Wolf have to sacrifice himself for the good of the team. Will die again in this little engagement. But meanwhile, Miguel Z finally gets a swarm creep, and they go on to fly solo. Good stop. Psionics don't want to get the kill. Doesn't want to commit to it. Kill someone themselves, but there's probably a sentry, or he has, must assume there's a sentry lurking around. I mean, there's one here, but nothing else. Nyx lurking in the trees, playing pretty defensively, playing pretty self the Chrono onto Miguel. But like we said, the Blade Fury actually escapes actually in the Chrono. Doesn't actually hit him with the Earth Splitter, but will hit him with the Impale. And Miguel will go down first. And he's using the False Promise of the wrong hero, which is himself, and he might survive. But at the expense of the Juggernaut, Ice meanwhile going down. The ass. Oh, that Sandy's Eclipse will kill off. Uh, one and also Yamate. Raji might suffer the same fate. Fly is really committing to this. Raji in trouble. Four stack. Uh, no, but he has the blink dagger, which could be enough against X Rag. They do scan this out though. Rave with a six cent spidey sense. Oh no, that's that's not Rave. Sorry, that's uh, more in the scan. And the Corona hitting X Rag. That's a good kill on the Bad Rider. The False Bar is sitting in for a couple more seconds, but Earth Splitter hitting him as well, so that's very dead Bad Rider. And now Static Storm onto T. He will hit him right there. Bad Rider will come out and pop himself. Or pop out. And Lynch will bring him back. Is that good enough? They come in with an Echo Stop. Really good. And now Tihi in trouble. Never mind. They will actually lose the Weaver. Tihi fighting till the end of days. Killing the Weaver first. Trying to go for Disruptor, but fails. Ends up going down in that situation. Juggernaut, meanwhile, kills the Aegis, or kills the Roshan, takes the Aegis. Was that just him in the slaughter? Yeah, actually, amplified damage makes sense. No life stealer, though. Wow, no life stealer can land on the Grotto. That's all he's got left. So, yeah, he doesn't want to use it just yet on the on the enemy team because the Hurricane Pike is really easy to evade the Grotto with that. He did go for Hurricane Pike first, though, which makes sense, honestly. It's such a useful item on an OD. Is a bit more of that attack range, which is not bad, but the stats, especially, and the mobility is great. And now the Nyx is gonna find him. This is a good kill, they can find it. The Earth Splitter is not gonna hit Tihi. They have a Static Storm as well, so they've committed two ultimates already, but they are gonna get the kill on this OD. Very much worth it. I mean, the cooldown for those ultimates is not that large, around 90 seconds for each. 100 seconds, I believe, for the Earth. Because they can commit really hard, and they don't care. Ice is gonna be found out. Please don't use that. I'm gonna slash on him. Yeah, no need for it. Ice is going to go down, they can't use the Glyph of the Juggernaut either because he used Blade Fury. And now Raji 
Yeah, they're trying to TP. Should have TP'd a bit earlier. Now being caught out. Use the chrono. TP's out of the chrono, but the slithering crush will stop him. This cockiness will definitely be punished. And the slurder will take him down. Good job with the slithering crush. Damage will always see you, so the burrows aren't as powerful. The vision is not bad, but you can always get killed by the firefly itself. It's it's not the best of items to get in, in this game with an extension. It's good as a third, fourth item. The four staff or E Flame seems like a better item for now. Yamata's gonna go down here to the purifying flames, plus the flame break. Double flames equals dead bug. As you guys know, cockroaches are, t are killed using fire, so that is the best way to kill a Nyx as well. I don't know if Nyx is like a scorpion thing. Probably. Eh. More of a scorpion thing. He's playing the standard for another team as well. And now onto Raji. Raji's going down very easily. Nothing much he can do. He can shut him away. But Deer Splitter even comes out. And the Echo Stomp, which actually puts him to sleep. But what are you going to do here against the. The Weavers farming really efficiently. They're not helping their team out. And, or, and Brave is taking advantage of this. They also have a very good late game on a Juggernaut who has a lot of space and has not been participating in team fights if he can help it. And OD, who has managed to get so many kills, he's actually keeping up with the farm on the Weaver. Now going for an Orchid, apparently. Will not be in the place, though. Obviously, I'm just going to go for an Orchid. Okay. Oh no, Yamate. It's invisible. They are going to fight a couple. Static Storm also comes out. That's a kill on Dihi. False promise or not. Not going to be saved by that. Sorry, Dihi. I have to accept that. Uses the ultimate before he dies. Not bad. At least he deals some damage, but that's a waste of it ultimately though. And meanwhile, Faisal has to retreat. He can get a kill on him, miss the Impale. Uh, don't fight, don't use the Impale just yet. Don't use the Impale just yet. The Weaver wants to go after him. Sprint's about to end though. And Psyonix knows this. Glimpse back. The Sprint is not available. Goodbye to the Slardar, who also goes down. But in this top lane, they want to go on to Ling. They have the last one, but they didn't want to commit it. Yamate, and in they go, but that was a bit late. That was considerably delayed by the Slardar. Especially after the Nyx assassin. Nope, oh, in they go. Lasso, they're gonna catch someone. Raji plus the Armist has Glimpse to kind of stop the Lasso. But not in time. They even could make a Sanity's Eclipse to stop that Corona from happening. Because now they know that Orgy Sports just uh, can't team fight. And if they do, they have to force a team. They have to force a. In fact, that's not great. The Nyx assassin now fighting against a whole team using Vendetta, but he's been dusted, so they can see him clearly. Yamate will also go down. And now it's very certain they can't defy, but they will try to anyway. They forced the lineback on the void and they did it. Now with the chrono, catches two, Erise and x rag but they're gonna save the Oracle and now they have to go on the Batrider. Not the best of targets because he's a bit too tanky. X and Miguel going onto Ling, or onto Ice, sorry. In the kill, but getting caught in the Static Storm as well. Trying to prevent all the magical damage, but he can't attack inside there. D he will go down to the Weaver, now going onto Miguel. And that's too much damage to, wow, too much damage to actually survive that. Psyonix killing the Oracle finally. After that very annoying false promise, we'll eventually blow him up. And quiet him out. Do they quite want to go in? They, they, why don't they want to go in against the starter? And there it is, Swarm coming out. Only to give him vision. Chrono to two! What a perfect Chrono! And now x rag and Fly Solo will both be going down inside there. Because the kinetic field has been dropped. And that combo between Disruptor and Void was just beautiful. They recover the gem. They take away the enemy initiation. What a good job. This is still a very good build, especially since they changed the generally attack little thing. So that now you can do double crit in the Gemini attack, and double crit will kill the Oracle. Literally one Gemini attack with double crit will kill the Oracle completely. And we'll leave the Batter in the ICU. We'll deal a third of all power of the damage and almost, almost kill the Slard. Now let's see. Ling leading the charge. Well, actually, it's the OD leading the charge of the enemy team, but Ling is just... Wow, they don't get it. They don't want the Echo stuff. The Burrow from the set. There's no chance for the Burrow because these Sanity's Eclipse will come out. Yamato is taking a lot of damage here, but also healing it up. Raji with the Chrono actually takes two. They want to kill Miguel. That's the target, but the uh, Omni Slash will come now. It kills two. Could kill a third. This move has to use a time lapse. Only thing left for Orange. But Rave are bringing it back. And Psyonix in so much trouble right now. What do you do? They bring him down. Wicked sick streak. Down for the Weaver only at the but then, with the Aegis gone, she'll get a Butterfly or something like that. Maybe MKB. Butterfly seems like a better option, even though there's a Butterfly on the Juggernaut. 
Actually, MK would be great against Juggernaut. Just whoa, full, full grass can. And there's the Chrono. Okay, it's x rack Impale. x rack about to die. But the Omni Sash comes out and it hits three. However, he doesn't kill a single one of them. Ling trying to make it out alive. He's not going to manage. And the Swarm is already onto the Juggernaut. Tries to dispel it. Doesn't actually do that, Juggernaut. And Aesthetic Storm doesn't hit anything. Fly Solo will die in a matter of seconds. Aesthetic Storm is too hurt. Uh, sorry, feel like hitting too hard. And the Juggernaut also going down to the Void. Thanks to that Blink Dagger really helping him out there. Tihi being sought out by Psyonix. And they're smelling his blood. They want to find it. They have no way to stun him. They need the Void first. And you don't actually use the Aegis properly. They, in last game, they also lost to Aegis. Aegis. And similarly, they're going to do the same thing in this game. And that's not going to help you out at all. At all. Take the Vice on uh, the Outworld Devourer. Oh, now they're going to catch someone in the Chrono. That's a pretty good Chrono. But only catch out about because he's not a bit against... Uh, Oh, D, because he has way too many targeted actions, so he can actually stop and make it too easy. They're going to catch him out, but D has time up still, so he should be alright. Time up's back in. Oh, just uses BKB, kills D here really quickly. Now going to x rack who dies in a matter of seconds. Gem taken away, and this little bug is sukuching her way to victory. It goes onto this Oracle, and he's going to be popped really easily. They just leave the illusions there to hit him a bit more. GG comes out from Rave, and they're actually going to give up on the game. Wow. After seeing how fun the Weaver was, it's just gonna say no more. Please let's go to game number two, or it will take the first game and we'll take the lead for the best of for the best of two in the series. The second game can still be won, but